everyone, welcome to another video. So today what we're going to do is to go through the key concepts and context for Pharrell, for those of you who are studying him for component two. As mentioned with the Katy Perry video, Pharrell isn't one of the artists that I teach within my school or to my students, so I'm not as confident um, with the information that I've got here for you guys. And so what you may want to do is to use this as a scaffold or a basic structure for information that you can then add to from your own notes, from your own teachers when you're in class or when you're studying from home. Also bear in mind that I'm trying to go through the concepts and context with regards to the artist as a whole and not just for the video for freedom, which obviously you do have to know for component two. In terms of media language though, we are going to be looking predominantly at that music video. Within the video we see Pharrell being very confident, but this is also a rather introspective video where he's asking the audience to look inside themselves. And we have aspects of historical and cultural context featured throughout the whole of the video, which we'll come on to in the next sort of section. This is also a music video that could be considered an affirmation through the main word, title, lyric within the video, which is obviously freedom. And the video itself is also made up of lots of different layers and also metaphorical images and concepts as well. Now, in terms of the industry, this track was released in 2015, but Pharrell did tease this on his Twitter feed beforehand. It's also been used in a variety of different advertisements, as well as the film Despicable Me 3, which would make sense because Pharrell has worked on the soundtrack to all of the, Despic all of the films within the Despicable Me franchise. Now, in terms of our audience, we're going to be looking at 18 to 30 year old men who are C1 to D, aspirers and maybe even strugglers in terms of that historical context. Our secondary audience, though, are likely to be uh, 30 to 50 year old men, B to D, who are succeeders and mainstreamers. Now, in terms of representation, narrative and representations that surround the idea of freedom within this track and within this video as a whole, and Pharrell is concerned with people being free both mentally and physically. Pharrell himself appears to be less active on social media and in the public eye, so we don't have an awful lot of representation that we can say about him from outside of the video, but inside the video he's very much the narrator of the track as a whole, and even though he's positioned within a lot of those different scenes, he stands out and stands apart from what's going on and from the action that we can see as an audience. Now in terms of our social context, Pharrell is concerned with multiple types of freedom, represents the idea of social media and beauty within the video, all of which play a part in constricting individuality and con therefore constricting freedom. He also considers art and freedom of expression through the scenes of graffiti which we see within the video as a whole. And this idea of freedom and the idea of being constricted as an individual is something that's being explored within society as a whole, not only when the video was released but also today and the idea of of um, individualism is very important and crucial to audiences today. Culturally, there are lots of different cultures represented within the video through the religious practices that can be seen, but we also have a lot of black culture that's represented through the scenes that reference the historical context. So, for example, we have scenes of men breaking rocks almost like they're part of a chain gang, which is obviously shown within the historical aspects of the, the video. However, to contrast that, we have scenes of Muhammad Ali, which are also sort of within the video or embedded within the video, which have that idea of empowerment and freedom and show a different aspect to black history and culture. In terms of politics, the track itself was released during a period of stability under Barack Obama's presidency, but this may be more important here than it has been for other artists in that this could be the idea or it could link to the idea of the video as obviously Barack Obama was the first black president of the United States and so is obviously a very important milestone in the idea that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve if you put your mind to it. So something to consider there and perhaps an example of how you can link that political context to other parts of the video or other contexts or concepts if the question obviously allows and if it fits naturally within the answer that you're giving. Hopefully that's been useful for those of you who are studying Pharrell. We've only got a few key terms here, so make sure that you understand them. And if you're not sure of any of them, then maybe make yourself some note cards or um, create a little glossary that you can use alongside these videos as I release them. If you haven't already, also please subscribe. Hit the button below for notifications every time I uh, release a video because I'm not advertising them as much on social media at the moment, given that it is the summer holidays and summer break. 
You can, if you want to, get in touch with me through the comments section below or through social media at media underscore revision or GCSE Media Revision on Instagram. And I'll do my best to answer any questions, comments, or to include any ideas or suggestions that you have for the channel and videos into the list that I've got uh, on the go at the moment for things to create while over summer break. You can also let me know if you haven't had your shout out for subscribing by popping a comment in the comments section below. And I will see you guys later.